let's please change gears. We're smack in the middle of winter. The average family of four generates two to four gallons of water vapor just by occupying the house. Anybody in the room feel comfortable out loud? What would be one action, one activity that we do that generates water vapor? Yes, please, Michael. Cooking, Cooking yeah. Cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, showering. Look at the bottom of the screen, breathing. Over a gallon a day. Pets, plants, hang drying wet clothes indoors, storing firewood inside a house. This all generates water vapor. That water vapor in the summer, that shower you're taking in July, it's a non-factor. In January, that same shower is a factor because the attic is cooler in January. In July, it's not. We want to get that moisture out of the attic in a timely manner. Don't let it settle. Here's what happens to that moisture. It's attracted to a cooler, drier place. In the winter, that's the attic. It can condense as frost or water droplets drip onto the insulation. That could affect the R value, the efficiency of the insulation. In time, we might be looking at mold, mildew, wood rot, indoor air quality could be affected, all because of water vapor. <laughs>